Hello everybody, it's Jamie from Farming A. So today we're going to show you guys how to not break your backhoe. Yep. So the way it was explained to me what happened, this is how I had the backhoe configured at the time. I had this uh, in the earth, pulling up uh, some uh, loose earth and maybe some, some small roots about this size. And I started to lift the boom and curl the dipper and pressure wasn't released in this cylinder. So as I was lifting and curling, pressure built up at this weak point here because this rod was completely unsleeved. So something had to give, and it bent at the, at the entry point here of the, uh, of the uh, bucket cylinder. So it turns out, uh, when our old equipment had the, the, the tractor in the shop, last this week uh, every single cylinder except for the bucket cylinder has a pressure release valve <laughs> and uh, at the recommendation recommendation of John Deere they've installed a pressure release valve and replaced the rod uh, under warranty so this is what you don't do uh, the machine you just have to be careful when you rip out stumps. So when it's loose earth, it should be fine. But you still you still have to be mindful on how to use the equipment. It's not it's 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 not fragile, but you can break it, obviously. Yep.
and that's how it's done, folks, without bricking anything. Just dig around, make sure you don't break the backhoe, then gently pick it up with the grapple. We'll bring it to the graveyard, sip some coffee, get it done. I really appreciate everybody watching my channel. We currently are sitting at 95 subscribers, five away from being able to have youtube.com slash farming A. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you want updates, click the notification bell and we will see you all next weekend.